Welcome to Warcraft Reloaded, a podcast brought to you by Mash Those Buttons, covering World of Warcraft classic and its community. I'm Bobby, also known as Blazin' Bob, and today's a weird episode. I'm going to introduce the people that are here now, but people might be hopping in and out. Um, we're just kind of doing, we have a little Discord where a lot of us hang out and uh, talk a lot, and it's like a small, you know little group of, of buds and so anybody in here is going to be welcome to come in and out as they please and kind of jump in and talk when they want so starting out we have mel of course welcome how you doing i don't know how i feel about the of course you know I feel like <laughs> it's kind of like yeah she's here oh I'm no kidding. i'm kidding uh, I'm a little tired but <laughs> yeah we all are yeah. we all are very tired and then we have, in no particular order, we have Brandon, who probably will talk very little, but he's here just in case. Welcome to the show. Moral support. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Bucky, who uh, who who was on the show uh, recently too, um, with the Apricot Cat episode. Welcome to the show, Bucky. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. And then to sound it off on this first this the starting cast, we have the booby extraordinaire, Mr. Lubes. How you doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully we get a bunch of people that come in and out of here. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping so. I I put it out there for anybody who, who who wants to, so hopefully they'll they'll jump in. But uh this is gonna be this episode is going to be very different from all the other episodes. Um, we tried to do one like this before the Super Bowl, but the audio got scuffed. Um, it was all messed up, and it was right after uh, right after the Phase 2 launch. This is right after the Phase 3 launch. Everybody's rushing to get their runes. We have a raid tonight. I'm doing, like, the last of my runes right, right now. So we're all kind of playing while we're doing the episode, and, you know, we're just going to we're just gonna kind of free free talk and kind of bring up different uh, subjects. Uh, and that's going to be, that's going to be the episode. So I hope you guys in, enjoy this kind of off meta episode. That being said, oh, okay. We have to start at what we've been doing, right? Like we've been leveling of course, but I don't know how to, like tell all our different stories. Um, like kind of the whole episode. <laughs> kind of, kind of. It's well. It's we made a lot of mistakes, but there was a lot going on. There's a lot of people that are going to want to hear us talk about the, um, the, uh, the good old night uh, nightmares. So I think we should yes, just start can. on those. Um, but I don't know where to start. I can start out by saying. A grand is probably laughing his ass off at all of us that prequested and planned to spam dungeons because we did that for the start. Me and Mel, we turned in all of our prequests, which took a lot of time traveling. There was not a whole lot of summoning operations going on during this time on our server, which kind of sucked. Um, so we were kind of just doing what we could there was major city summoning luckily we did have a mage which made it which made it faster so Casimo made that faster but then we went to Zolfarak we're doing Zolfarak we're just seeing everybody at Ashenvale and they're just beating the crap out of us in levels and so I kind of want to turn it over to Lubes because I think Lubes went like right off the bat I went like right away right after our Nomer which it was a waste of time too great. <laughs> right we my group didn't get the 50 percent xp buff it oh was, no it was whack. but like the incursions were so but it was eight thousand xp per quest five gold per quest and we were getting six quests done every five minutes it was oh, like the God. most ridiculous level pace i've ever seen and like even right now they haven't nerfed the xp which is coming monday i think tuesday 
Mm -hmm. whatever whatever day that is but what the launch the gold was ridiculous yeah i'm so sad i missed out on that (laughs) it was crazy yeah and it's it lasted if I, I mean you know you know i love to apologize for blizzard i you know i appreciate what they do and i know it's a hard job but man that should have been caught within an hour and change because anybody who first of all if it was only a 10 day you know like un, like a 10 day announcement before it was going to come out mm-hmm. and so people already couldn't get off work Right, lots of people, and so now, what you've got got going on is the people that couldn't get off of work already because they were fucked by Blizzard got screwed out of just tons of gold. I mean, some people made like like a, a thousand gold in the first few hours of the uh, thing, all while just racing to to two fifty, and it's just. I even made some pretty good gold. They nerfed it twice. Like I was at least. In the first nerf, right? So yeah, they bumped it down to like a gold thirty three per quest, and then they bumped it down like super hard. I don't know what the what it's at right now though. I think it's down to even like forty five silver now. I mean, to be fair, forty five silver after you get hit level fifty. But oh yeah, they'll get the extra. Oh okay. Yeah, I got you the three hundred buff. I think to be fair though, they did have a lot of things that they were working on at the very beginning, right? Like with the XP buff, not working in Nomer. And I don't know. I feel like they caught it. People got extra gold. It's fine. Yeah, you I, can just tell if you if you're one hurts. of the players that really likes work in the auction house, you can tell that there is a ton of gold injected right away into the <laughs> ecosystem. It was really apparent. It's kind of cool though. So well, it was cool for you. Hundred <laughs> percent. So I got there at like level forty four on the first tune. Well, we, we won't even talk about my second tune getting going from forty one to because I still turned in my pre quests on just on, on my hunter because I was like I did them damn it I'm turning them in, but uh, yeah. I went from from forty one to fifty in five and a half hours. Um, but my rogue got there at level forty four. Um. And uh, at first I was like, oh, this is awesome. And I was really enjoying how fast it was. I remember, like, because before we knew the meta turned out to be just go get the collection quests and don't mess with the kill quests. But in the beginning, I did mess with the kill, like, the kill quests. Uh, and, I, and, you know, would come back with almost a full quest log and I'd turn on auto turn in and I just watched my bar go an entire level. And I was just like, I was, I was so excited. But then later on, I just, after I got done with my hunter, I was like, was this too much? Seems like this was too much, man. Like it's too easy to repeat over and over again. Also the first day, no, Nobody was fighting anybody on the PvP server. The second day, people were getting a little more froggy. And then the third day yesterday, I guess, Table Slam told us that it was just obnoxious. I think... It was bad. Oh, welcome mm-hmm. to the show, Ubiquitous. Um, I think he okay. had problems, uh, not the second day, when he was leveled with you guys. Because no one was killing mobs, Why? so you get knocked off your mount constantly by mobs everywhere. Welcome to the show, Ubi. How are you doing the show at the moment? Yeah, we're doing it right now, live. Okay, hello. I'm having a sick day today because I've got some kind of bug and I just saw you in here, so hello. <laughs> well, hello. Welcome. Yeah, we're doing a weird episode. It's kind of anybody in this Discord, you know, that we hang with is kind of welcome to come and go as they please and throw in what they thought. But who wants to take it away, like... I think this was too much. I think, like, it felt really good, but it really just trivialized the leveling. But that might be a good thing in the end, because there's a lot to do. There's a lot of keys to get. We got to get three different dungeon keys. Got the uh, the Mordon staff last night. Like, there's a lot to do in this phase. What do you guys think? I'm curious how, how that's going to affect phase four. Like we've already talked about, we're not going to really mess with prequesting 
And that was a big part of going from one to two and two to three for me was the pre-quest. So it was a fun part. But I mean, now we can just yeah. quest for gold, you know, because I'm, I'm guessing it's still going to be the meta next time. I don't know. I mean, I feel like they are going to learn some things from this one. I also feel like it's not the worst thing in the world that we leveled quickly and you didn't have to like you could go quest you didn't have to level level like that if you didn't want to but i i don't know i feel like it's fine because there's so much other things to do right and with shorter phases i'm not sure that having leveling be faster is a bad thing it was also only 10 levels compared to like the 25 and the 15 we did before I messed my back up, so I got to play day one, and uh, I felt stupid not having done the incursions. I was just, like, chilling, doing quests, like, uh, fuck, I don't want a dungeon grind or do anything. I was just playing by myself. Welcome, Zunder. Like, How are you doing? Yeah, we felt dumb, oh. too. We felt really dumb. I've just been sitting at home with a bad back for, like, a week now, and I was like, man, I could have made a thousand gold. <laughs> I tried to tell you, Bob. I know. I know. I shot out the SOS flare saying, get out of ZF. It's crazy. <laughs> Incursions are crazy. I'm, um, I'm kind of glad we, we had our plan of like Cathedral, Noma, Hand in Quest, then go to ZF. And just the night before, uh, we pinged each other and said, how about we do Cath into Noma? And then we'll just go have a look at the Incursions. And then we never left. We the portal. <laughs> but we did it. Like on the first character, because it was such a rush the first day, we kind of did it, I call it as intended, mm -hmm. where we were battling people for tags. And if one party of Alliance had been too much of a like set of greedy pigs, we'd just kill them. And then we'd have a bit of a scuffle over some, some more tags and stuff. So we were doing all the kill quests and even doing it that way. And it was super busy. It was still faster than what you would have got in mm -hmm. ZF yet alone once everyone started to min max like don't do this quest don't do that quest right up to the point where like always we min max the fun out of it just do <laughs> laps of collecting things we never actually did that we're still doing uh a lot of the kill quests right up to 50 we just the only quest we decided not to do was the bloody 10 trees because they're so hard to find they were hard yeah. to yeah. find yeah but but even yeah. like the whelps and the elite dragons they weren't too hard and if the boss wasn't there You'd go do your lap and just go hand in. But on my alts, uh, I did do quite a few laps of just picking stuff up and handing in, which I don't – I'm I've been a defender of the incursions, but I do admit it's too crazy. We could have not had, we could have not had the 50% XP buff, and I still would do them. We could not have that, and they nerf it, and I will still do them because it's just super cruisy. It's pretty chill, and it could it could be a little bit slower than ZF grinding. And I would still do incursions. So that's my stance mm -hmm. on them. And I never got to have fun. fun with them. I, I joined late. Like I was saying, I, I think it was like a day after the phase launch or maybe a day and a half. And I was like, it was once everyone figured the meta out. I was like, oh, I just run around in a circle and pick shit up. <laughs> I didn't get to do any of the PvP or anything. It was just. Well, the PvP. But it was still like, it was still sort of fun in the beginning but i feel like it would have been more fun that like first day everyone figuring out and whatnot it probably de it probably depended server to, to server so yesterday it was just toxic as hell I yesterday mean, i was doing them was, and it was terrible yeah and but what the it lines ended? would camp the uh the hand in they'd camp the portal and Horde didn't do anything about it and then after like an hour they'd be like all right we gotta fucking deal with these people <laughs> Yeah, that's 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 what I heard, and like it turned into what it always turns into. There was all of a sudden a horde lair and a uh, uh, a uh, a horde lair and a alliance lair, and then it started. I didn't to even get bother easier. with that. I just <laughs> I just took my four minute res timer and finally was able to hand all my quests in, and I was like, okay, I'm fifty. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, there's my biggest criticism will be I don't know how they fumbled it, and I benefited about I think I ended up with about 550 gold more than when I started the day. I think that's probably their biggest fumble. But I mean, 500 gold isn't that much 
between the stuff on the have. auction house has gone up a lot since. Yeah, but like I don't know long, if it's because of the gold or if it's because of uh, people were you know making. I'm just thinking of potions personally, like spell power potions and whatnot, uh, armor potions. They've oh, gone up to like over a gold, and I think that might be because you know first day or two uh, people were just leveling their professions, making all of them, and now they've been bought out and people aren't making as. Oh potions. yeah, I, I've I've started to learn enchanting on my main rogue because I finally decided on. Uh, my second profession and even just to get like the very first dust strange dust or whatever that's like oh yeah <laughs> i was like leveling that on my on my warlock and i was like i guess i just won't level it <laughs> that's just that's just launch inflation i don't know what it's like on the big big servers our economy is usually a bit more chill and even for us like uh was a thorium thorium ore was like 150 gold a stack and people were buying it like you'd put it up it would sell well yeah so the people who got all this shit the first day were like oh i have all this gold now i can just level my professions i know a few people who did that and then now the gold's nerfed and they're gonna not have any left yeah it's the gold is the the gold's the only part that i'm like uh but i don't know i think there's like, I think the gold's good as it is now. It's not excessive and it's not nothing. Yeah, it's it's. They literally practically nerfed it right back down to as if you didn't have the the gold reward buff while you level. So it's almost like whenever they tested it, they didn't give themselves that or something. Yeah, we did one lap and we're like, wow, we have like eighty more gold than what we did, and we're like, that was dumb. Like it took five minutes to go. This is dumb. Like I tripled my net worth in an hour and a half <laughs> yeah so. if you want to get gold you just level an alt in there and then you <laughs> once you hit if you start the another greatest, alt. the greatest classic wild WoW gold farm for a good two hours <laughs> it was yeah. ridiculous it seems it's it yeah i i I'm, I'm mad that i missed that and i just i feel like that yeah, I said it before. I feel like that should have been caught within an hour of the gold thing. But this... well, apparently there was there was a nerf before even we got there. Like we got there early, and we're like, "This is dumb." And yeah. then someone was showing me screenshots. If you literally went there at like launch minute, the quest with the triple gold reward were giving like nine five. gold eight. Oh, no, really? That was, that, my... was, that was after the nerf. We got there and it was giving five, and we're like, "This is crazy." And then some guy sent Josh a heap of screenshots, going, "Bro, it was ten gold for like." the first hour or some shit and they made bank <laughs> someone in my old guild like right my classic wow guild they made a sod guild and he he was saying he farmed like a thousand gold in probably half an hour from when because he started them as soon as it launched yeah it was just ridiculous oh hello hey what's up michael welcome we're uh just we're just we're we're just talking about the uh the event the uh nightmares i still think it was just like i still think it's a little too fast to level i couldn't believe how fast it was but maybe it is a good thing i, I don't I, mind the I, leveling I don't know it's how still the goal for yet. me that's the problem like the leveling it's like everyone's leveled through classic a thousand times you know if you want a quest you can still do that you can still do dungeons but if you want to just bang it out quickly would you kind of as long as they don't to, add a right? next phase and they don't like overdo it kind of thing like i think it's fine for one phase if you just get from if you get 10 levels quickly it's like who cares but it's like if the whole if the whole game was you could get from 1 to 60 in like 10 hours just doing nightmare incursions i think that would be a problem yeah what about um well uh, michael what did you think of uh of the uh, nightmare incursions, you think it was too much? I think uh... I, I think it was phenomenal. Leveling, <laughs> you know, without grinding through dungeons over and over and over, being able to quest, do some stuff. It was actually refreshing change of pace. It was still kind of a grind, though. Let's not lie to ourselves. Yeah. Running in circles for four hours, <laughs> doing the same lap. I feel like I was constantly, because I, I was there before it got toxic, 
And I, but I was constantly like, all right, when is it going to start? Because, I mean, at some point, somebody's going to hit somebody accidentally, and this place is going to blow up, and it's going to get toxic. Everybody's going to want to kill each other, and that did happen. I think that like, happened when the quest hiccups got bugged, and people thought, like, someone was griefing it somehow, is what I heard at least. Like, apparently there was a bug where if you had your inventory open while you picked something up, just no one else could pick it up, and then maybe people heard about it. And it was just like, so at that point, people just started camping them and killing people and stuff, trying to like fix it or something. That, but that was that was the best. Yeah, because there was that one in Feralis where it's in the tent that like scroll on the ground. Yeah. And there were so many corpses over it. I couldn't see where the thing was. And apparently it was bugged anyway, so it didn't matter. But I just kept skipping it. It would It would kind of go down like one of those bar fight comedy scenes where just like, you're all standing off going, someone's ruining this box, so you just punch someone. And that <laughs> yeah. guy fights someone else. And suddenly there's like a 40 versus 40 at the forge, and we all go, ah, oh, damn it, it's still bugged. Never mind. That everyone just kills everyone else because they think that they're griefing it. Same with the egg. I am i don't understand how they broke, too, because they were working, and then they were broken, and then they were working, and then they broke again, and I don't know. I haven't done them in like a day, but Last time I checked to it, like the the box at the lumber camp and that scroll were still broken. Damn. Well, you know, there's a rumor that they were turning it on and turning it off to counteract the fact that everybody was just doing the just making fucking their round. random quests up so they can complete yep. them. <laughs> yep. Who knows? Well. I don't know. Do we could probably just we could probably move on from them because there's a there's a lot going on. Like, how did you guys feel about rune hunting this time around? Have I had one more that? question for the incursions. Oh, go yeah. Shoot. I was just wondering if anyone. I know most people just did the Ashen Veil the whole time, but has anyone tried like the level fifty ones? Because I did like the Fairless one, and it was much uh, so... much slower, but slightly better rep. I, I went early. My group went early to the Feralist because we thought the XP was going to be a lot better on launch. It wasn't. We would have leveled faster if we just stayed in Ash of the Veil. Vale. But those are giving, like, what is it, 250% of the rep that the Ash of the Veil is giving. And that's really the only benefit that I see coming out of those higher level ones. Like, if you yeah. want to level, just go 40 to 50 in the Ash of the Veil vale one. Yeah. I, did, I didn't do the higher level one until I was actually 50. Already. So there is one currency that you're getting from the higher level ones. I don't know what they're used for yet. It's for the epics when you get uh, revered and exalted is what I've heard. Okay. Yeah, I haven't gotten there yet. That. Yeah. Okay. I'm only honored, I think. Yeah. See, so that's a, that's another reason. Like you kind of have to do it, right? Like you kind of have to, like there's a lot. Like, there's a lot of grinds here that we have to kind of com com complete. Like, there's there's a grind now to get the wild offerings. There's one, uh, there's one, what's it called, for everybody. Uh, one rune for everybody with wild offerings. You get the quest in Southern Fellwood. Um, and, uh, but then also there's, like, a freaking amazing trinket amazing melee ring like some amazing gear for like 14 of these these wild offerings and you have to basically do a dungeon for each of them um and that's we, why i feel like the uh origins are going to be worth it because you have to get that rep anyway so as you're leveling 40 to 50 so you might as well do the incursions to get the rep yeah well, exactly yeah, it's, a, it's a very nice double whammy to get leveled up and start the rep rep train so but this is a whole different grind that i'm talking about well uh, the wild offerings like that's from the mara and like zf and yeah, it's mara. relevant yeah i mean i heard the items are pretty expensive uh, yeah the 14 They're which like means 12 15 yeah you gotta kill and it takes princess like or, a few hours to do just to doesn't. get like a few of them it doesn't zf you have to kill three three bosses to to do it um 
and then no i i meant to get like to get like 10 it would take like oh. four hours or something well you can do princess runs at about 10 10 minutes a piece and you only have to kill princess so it seems like that's the that's the bread and butter one that you want to do but a lot of people are saying that the zf going to the left skip is is really good too so i, I don't know Anybody got anything else they want to they they want to bring up? I haven't oh, done. Sorry, I was muted. muted. Oh. Um, yeah. now that you like going back really fast to the rep grind for the incursions, I almost dislike it more now, just because I do feel like it makes it necessary for you to grind the incursions instead of doing something else. Kind of like in TBC when you had to dungeon grind because you needed the dungeon rep too. Mm -hmm. it's kind of a bummer that the rep is tied to just that. And other things i think when they nerf the xp and gold on monday they should increase the rep people aren't going to want to do them <laughs> yeah yeah I don't well know. and i feel like you you could make it much more enticing to do the other quests if like killing the bobs give rep, right? Killing the bosses can give rep along with the quest. Yeah. Also, they could have just nerfed the pickup quest. Like, say they nerfed the pickup quests to half of the XP that the kill quest did. Would you still not do the kill the kill quests? I think someone in my guild did some math and was like, if you do the if you do the kill quest, it's going to be the same amount of XP. And then a bunch of other people were like, okay, we're just not going to do it. then Cause they don't, they don't want to go around killing stuff. But if you got XP for the other quests for the kills as well, it might be worth it. No, it is. It is worth doing. It's like, it's worth doing it. It's just, people don't want to do the kill quest. So they, that's yeah, what they were saying. Well. Yeah. They Why just want to pick things up off get the, the ground. Same, yeah, if you can get the same experience per hour without having to do the kill quest, then it's easy. You can just kind of like yeah. turn your brain off and run in circles. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Fair. Yeah. Um, to the wild offerings, though, they were um, more done. <laughs> I think we were all kind of tired. It was kind of a slog getting the first run done to get us the scepter but after that it's like super easy to yeah. do but you have but you have people not looting everything like they're supposed to you have to go back <laughs> for things whoops yeah yeah we did the whole thing and the first boss bob forgot to loot the item for his scepter and so we got to the very end he didn't have it he went back it was gone classic and bob moment <laughs> yeah, it was so bad. And like it was like after the first boss, we were all very hyper vigilant to make sure everybody was got everything that they needed. But like at the very beginning, we weren't. Yeah. We yeah, it, it was just I I the cons, I was like on everybody else, make sure you get your thing. Everybody, everybody looted it. Everybody looted it, right? And I just didn't think to like have to loot the one the one boss in there, the uh ice guy. It was just like okay. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, so no one else has done that besides uh, uh, me, Michael, Bucky, and Mel. No one else has done that quest line. I have not yet. I think that's next on my agenda. I basically got to fifty and started leveling an alliance character because my classic guild wanted me to play with them, and I'm still injured. So I was like, I guess I can waste a day or two. Yeah, well, they're uh. I guess the nerfs coming in Monday, they're going to like increase the leveling thing, like increase kill. Like they're going to increase how much you get for killing mobs. Oh, I thought that I heard they were increasing discoverers delight to 75% or whatever. Yeah. Is. Yeah. That's what I saw. And then, and then reducing the quest turn in XP or something. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see. 
what people do, but I think the rep definitely does need a buff. It's just so Did weird you that you level so fast. Huh? Did you guys talk about the sets from it already? I, no, like I was looking at, like because I dinged fifty on my warlock and I was like, this is better than all my gnomer gear. I see. I, I was looking at. It, I was like, I don't know that this. It seems like it's like side grades for me, at least from honored. I didn't look at the gear past that. Um, yeah, honored. That's what I'm talking. I haven't gone past honored. The stuff past honored, I think, is like trinkets and rings. There's no actual armor, but uh, having the six set, like all the pieces, have a good amount of spell power. At least for warlock, I don't know about melee, but they have a good amount of spell power. You get like four percent crit. You get a hit or two, and it's just like because I was using the three piece from Nomer before. I was like, well, I may as well just use this now. <laughs> and it felt kind of kind of wrathy, you know, like you you finish one phase, you go to the next phase and like, oh, here all your gears replaced. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Well, and then I don't really get there's some trinkets at Exalted, I think, and they're they're kind of weird. I don't really know how they work, but I know there's a healer one that's really good. Is now you're going to need to get exalt. Damn it. <laughs> well, then on top of it, we still, anybody who didn't get done with the grind for, um, for, uh, the grind for, what's it called? Uh, BGs. Like, that's another big grind that everybody's have to, to keep up on. And, like, I'm a little bit overwhelmed with all, like you're talking about all the new gear. I'm a little bit overwhelmed between, you know, the PVP vendor you get from your PVP rank all to like, you know, going to, you know, going to get the new stuff from uh, like Warsong Gulch and Arathi Basin. And then on top of that, the stuff from the, the new rep, like, I'm like, I don't I think know this what phase to do. It can be a, a, a lot longer and we wouldn't be upset. Yeah, that's what I was thinking is it seems like they added a lot more. Even if they didn't, it feels like they added more than phase two. And there's rep grinds that people aren't even like. Like, I think today our guild is going to do some Ardent Dawn, Urgent Dawn rep, which is like level 60 stuff, but it has super good enchanting stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like, there's so much that's unlocked. Mm hmm available in the game yeah and yeah then, level 50 opens a lot of things up and we got help me if i'm wrong but we got the staff for moradon you have to do we got the key to skolomance the key to strathome although the key to strathome is just wait do we have strathome we don't no, we don't have those think so i'm pretty so sure we don't have either it's just the key to brd and can we even get the key yet? Did oh, did you guys see what they did in BRD? I haven't yet. Oh, it's hilarious. Okay, so you can't do all the bosses, and the bosses you can't do are drunk with the Grim Guzzlers. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that so hilarious? Friendly? Are they friendly or something? Yeah, yeah, they're, <laughs> and, you, and you can't attack them. I thought that was a funny touch. That, that they put in there that was just better than just like locking them off or something yeah <laughs> they'd have like At a door that's blocked rp or something yeah it's so funny but yeah i don't know that you you've got to be able to get the key so you, that boss has got to be uh, available but all i've ever heard I've, I've so far only heard about people killing the uh i don't even remember which boss drops the key he's like himself. with all the stone dudes Thing. Oh, yeah. and and we have to pick up the quest dead, and then oh, like, yeah. go back in. But That's and awesome. I don't know. We can get up to two hundred fifty lock picking right now, and I don't know if that's enough to lock pick the door because as a rogue, just never really had to worry about it. But yeah, there's so much to do, so much to do, and I kind of hope this phase lasts a bit longer. Like I didn't start phase two until halfway through but that was mostly because it looked boring from the preview and stuff but this one so far it's pretty fun and it's just started yeah i thought pvp was awesome in phase two everybody else hated it but 
like not, not yeah. everybody, but a lot of people hated it. And I was like, everybody was talking about it's the one shot meta. And I was like, ah, it's not for me, but I mean, I've been getting I'm one shot in phase stamina. three pretty good. <laughs> Have you? I haven't done I much PvP Warlock at sucks, 50 yet. But, uh, 46 Paladin one shot my Warlock somehow, and I had the full PvP. It's not really a PvP set that you get from the uh, incursions, but they say it is. It's got quite a bit of stamina. It doesn't have enough, though. Yeah. As far as PvP is concerned, did they? Hmm. I don't know, but see, I haven't had that experience. Like I've done a bunch of. I don't know. Maybe Warlock just too. sucks. Were you in meta? No, I was soul link, which should be just as good as meta, I would think, because it's thirty percent transferred to your pet, right? Yeah. Who knows? All kinds of shit's broken, though, so who knows? That, that could be yeah. broken, too. For all I we did know. find a bug. Maybe a bug, maybe not. I was in ZF tanking as Demonology spec, and I sacked my Felguard because I wanted to put a different rune on for because they gave us Immolation Aura. So I wanted to put Immolation Aura on, so I was like, I'll sack the Felguard and see what happens. And, uh, Without the Felguard rune on, but after sacking him, I still had the four buffs. Because if you don't know, the Felguard gets all the buffs all your other pets would get. So when you sack a Succubus, it gets a buff. When you sack a Boy Walker, it gets if, a buff, etc. If you go so down had, that tree in the yeah, yeah, tree. yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. Um, well, you need you need the sacrifice talent to sack the pet. Yep, but. Uh, so I got all those buffs and then switched to Immolation Aura and kept all of them. Which was mm -hmm. kind of neat. Uh, and then I tried respecking after sacking the pet. That didn't work. But you can switch runes and have your pet sack if you want to sack the Felguard and get all the buffs. But I don't think Demonology is going to be very good for anything. All right, well, um, I'm trying to think of like just some other things to talk about. Like but it's so early. I think a lot of us haven't, like, I haven't done any PvP really at all. I haven't. Has anybody done any new Blood Moons? I did one today. I think I was telling you guys earlier, like, I don't want to do that whole grind again. I, I was like, just I like the event, but, like, again, eh. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, yeah. It was like a one phase. It was like a one phase. All right. I the like the event. Of it is like, eh. it's fun, but like doing it again. That's like the only PvP event. It kind of, but it's all right. I pretty much only did the Blood Moon with you, Bob. So I had, you know, I had maybe thirty silver coins or something. And so once I think two days after the phase launched, I went. So I was like, oh, I may as well turn these in for honor. And it turns out you couldn't do it. I thought you still could for like a few days, but you could do everything else with the coins, but you couldn't get honor. So I just turned them all into AB rep, which was kind of disappointing. Well, yeah, you you were supposed to buy the honor tokens prior, and then they're supposed to work for two weeks. Uh, okay. If you, it's kind of weird that them. like all the other coin stuff still worked, and just not the honor marks or whatever they are. So are they on the vendor like? The like just so there's no you can't even buy honor with the new currency. You can buy with the new one, yeah, just okay. not the old one. But you can still get the mount. You can still get the cloak, the rings, all with the old currency. You just can't get the honor. Do you yeah. say you can get AB rep? Yeah, but it's two hundred cool. per thing, so it's kind of crappy. Yeah, so it's not as good as it was last time around. So we should. Oh, have was done it better it. before? I mean, it was. It was well. It was. One silver for two hundred rep. Yeah, that's what it still is. Okay, cool. I mean, yeah, that that isn't bad. I mean, if you think about how much you get in A B, you get if you turn in three tokens, you get one hundred rep, and then in a game, like you're getting ten rep just periodically as you gain resources, and then you just really don't get a bad. lot of rep in yeah. it, like it's. It's not as bad as Warsong, whereas if you're losing, you're like basically getting no rep at all. But 
like it's still it's still a slog to do, which I don't really mind because I like Arathi Basin, but I don't like the fact that everybody is getting ahead because they're doing this the STV stuff, and I'm just too lazy. Like I should do it here in an hour, and I won't. <laughs> you guys done those? Uh, I think it's a quest line for a rune something about world shards or something. Yeah, that's, the, that's what I told you about yeah. earlier. Is the the wild offerings? No, no, it's a different. It's different. Oh, it's I was like a, a thing mages and warlocks can do to and get priests. these like and priests. So. Really? Because I have a yeah. priest friend. And he was get. Oh, I know. No, you can get the rune for priests, but they can't actually get the item the you need item. to complete it because yeah. you need a priest or a lock. And he was pissed off because he was like, "Well, now I have to find." A group to do this with, and they're, everyone's trying to charge them gold to do it. Damn. But it's like, so, yeah, yeah it's, I don't really know how it works. I think warlocks get a rune, but I don't know if it's one I want or not. But yeah, warlocks are doing uh, the uh, the Emerald Nightmare. Get this imp, explorer imp, and you send it through a portal, and it has a chance to get a fragment, and then you combine the fragments into this item that you use on these ley lines. And then yeah. once you use the item on the ley line, it'll spawn like a level 50, whatever. And you have to just defeat it, loot it for its crystal. And there's four of them all across uh, Azeroth. You defeat all four, and then it spawns a level 50 version of itself that's elite, that takes an entire group to kill. And then it gets the rune. But it is kind of... I've heard it, it's toxic it's for intense. priests just because they can't uh, get the items themselves, so it's like... Yeah. yeah. The only one that can reliably get it is uh, mages. mages. I think, yeah. Well, they had something like that last time. Like, I got a trinket on my rogue last time that was like... that, like, priests needed for some rude. Yeah, they're trying to get people to interact, you know, more with other players, which I think is fine. I think it's fine if it wasn't people just charging other players for it. Like, well, people need even if they don't nerfed. have it yet, it's still like okay, fifty gold, and I have two of them already. You can join me, even mm -hmm. if you have some. It's it, yeah. so it's not fair to priests that they have to pay just because they don't have a way of getting the thing, even though it's their rune. Too. Which rune is it? I don't even know. I have no Discretion. idea. Oh yeah, it's a shadow rune. It's the one oh, that makes that's your dots what crit. Too. Huh? No, it's it's uh it's the one that what's it called? Oh, it's, not it's the one that makes your dots the, uh, crit. Yeah. Uh, whatever that one is, despair, I think, or maybe I didn't get that one yet. Well, you're a healer, so maybe you got lucky. <laughs> yeah, there is one um priest rune that you can only get between 9 p.m and 6 a.m server time apparently really i don't know that's what wowhead says i didn't go check to see if it was there oh. that it doesn't was sound very fun easiest rune i've ever done though but i did oh. it really late at night and there was absolutely nobody on the server and there's this little ghost that pops up at the gadget sand graveyard it does a couple other places too and it was but you had to hit it with arcane damage but my wand's arcane damage and oh, i just yeah. <laughs> And I just one shot it and then picked it up and I was like, really? Seemed to Got him. Yeah. <laughs> I was very like I thought I was getting in for the long haul, but <laughs> crazy. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I was trying to think of where to go next. I've, I had it a second ago. I need to I need to write this down. Um uh, rune hunting is where we are on next. Right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, which we're yeah, I'm somewhat talking about. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. But I want I want more people's uh, reactions because let's hear the rogue runes, ubiquitous. Yeah, let's hear it. I'm uh, actually doing one right now. I thought I thought getting them was pretty cool. Have you gotten them all? Um, I've gotten the two coolest ones to get in Combat Potency and Honor Among Thieves. Honor Among Thieves is bugged, so it's worthless. Um, oh, really? Well, it, it? Yeah. it works. It, it, it's, kind of. Yeah, it works sometimes, sometimes not. Like, it bugs you can out. log in and out, sometimes it'll work. 
but when it first launched, it wasn't giving you points if someone crit with a rune because it says oh. you get crits um, from people's abilities. So mm. they didn't make it work properly with runes, but um, now it seems to be halfway there, but it's still fried. Um, I went and got combat potency because it was broken, uh, because hat was broken. Um, and because honor amongst thieves is broken, um, I haven't gone to go get carnage, but that's literally just go pick a box somewhere and then kill a mob. So that's not that involved, but the quest line for honor among thieves was pretty fun. That was our new solo going to ZF, uh, find a few things inside, open some chests and then take what you find back to Ravenholt. So that okay. was cool. Yep. That's not good that there's so many rogues signed up for your raid tonight and Honor Among Thieves doesn't work. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the um, <laughs> the combat potency and cut to the chase as the uh, two runes was always simming only super slightly less. So yeah. we're still in a decent spot. Was combat potency the one that just gives energy yeah. on yeah, your yeah. offhand attacks or something? Which seems a lot more seems a lot more uh uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like you have to have special groups and stuff too for the other one to really kind of pop off. Yeah. This one's brain dead and it automates half your rotation. It just you requires just a really... fast offhand. Yeah, so that's the lamest part about it is that they've added all these new weapons and stuff and Julie's dagger, the level 50 BOE from like, that's just a world drop, is our best in slot offhand if you run combat potency. So and you can only get that out of Thorium lockboxes or plus uh, level 50 plus elites. So I think I saw one on Crusader Strike for 1,500 gold. So. <laughs> and you're going to have to buy it. I'll, uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll opt for the six DPS less and get something for free. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But now uh, the, um, the quest is there's a, there's a bit of lore in the whole rogue runes like this the last few phases we just get a letter from a character called c and then this phase you get a letter from someone at ravenholt going uh we've heard that you're doing jobs for c uh c's a bad guy he's been duping you the whole time and then like now you're starting to get like a little rogue storyline happening with our rune so that's kind of cool i heard there's something similar with the uh, paladin I know probably no one here plays Paladin because we're all Horde, I think, but my uh, classic guild, they all went Alliance, and they were saying there's a Paladin quest line where they're bringing in, like, Torn and Undead Paladins, so my old GM has a conspiracy theory that by some point in Sod, they're going to add Paladins and Shamans to Horde and Alliance. Oh, wow. Which people were talking about when Sod was announced, right? I'll I'll they accept. Kind of like, <laughs> I'll, I'll take Pallies on Horde as long as it's the undead to get to be one, because that would just piss everyone off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Torna uh, Paladin's cool, but it, I think undead makes more sense, even though it kind of doesn't at the same time. Yeah, I don't know, man. My hate for Paladins has, has gotten so big. Yeah, now that you're not Alliance, you realize how cringe they are. <laughs> well, I mean, I had them like they were fine in you know. They're always the biggest TBC later. In PvP too. Yeah, it's just like everybody else's oh shit buttons. You know, you can still kill them through it. It's like tough, but they just need to add shattering throw. Their uh, bubble, spell. their bubble is horrible. Mm hmm. I don't even remember the runes I got on my Warlock. I got, like, the two I needed within the first, like, five minutes of launch, and then I was like, all right, I'm done. Well, yeah, I'm I'm actually doing the Honor I'm the honor Among Thieves one right now, and I'm almost done, but I've done it during this podcast. So anybody can watch it <laughs> being done if they want to. It's not really a guide, but... I'm most happy with the rogue runes because it's just literally what we needed from a DPS output standpoint, and they're they're relatively fun. So, 
Lubes had had, had to dip out, but he he's been he's he was claiming that uh, that were that rogues are like really slapping right now in uh, in uh, in Sunken Temple. I, I I wish he didn't leave because I don't know if anybody here has anybody here done Sunken Temple. It's, I'm doing it tonight, but yeah. I was looking at Warcraft logs. Rogues are sitting at about second. Damn. Of, um, who, who was up there? Malie Hunter and Enhancement Shaman, of course. Just can't get rid of them. They're just going to be good forever. <laughs> well, I mean, as long as Rogue's good, I'm I'm pretty excited. But I guess we we just won't talk about Sucking Temple unless somebody pops in that's done it. Um, but yeah, so on for more runes. Who else? Uh, who else in here? How have uh, Brandon? How have the uh, Shaman runes been? I haven't gotten any of them yet. Have we got any? I bought the one from Emerald Wardens, but that was it so far. I hit 50 and logged out yesterday. Yeah, yeah you hit 50 That's the way. two characters, though, right? One more time. You hit 50 on two characters, right? Just the one. Oh, I thought you did another one. Or you were starting to do another one. I was going to start the Warrior, but I never did. Got it. Well, uh, that was another thing with working up in the uh, uh, in the uh, um, like like working up in the night the the nightmares. I ended up getting to fifty on the hunter. But I've worked up no weapon skill, and the rogue I worked up hardly any weapon skill either because. <laughs> So you were like just picking things up. <laughs> yeah, we were just picking stuff up and we weren't killing anything. And I was like, oh shit. I need to I need to level this up. We like went to go do our quests for uh song for Songflower and uh and I was like, oh shit. I had not even factored that would be possible for anyone to just level that vigorously from picking things up alone. Uh -huh. but they wouldn't have their weapon skill. That's gonna be <laughs> it Yeah, I just kind of defense too. Took a weird route. I went like no more gone. I got into a random pug with a bunch of swamp people. I was just sitting in Booty Bay, like looking for a group, and someone from swamps like, "Hey, can you help me summon?" I was like, "Oh, I used to be pretty active in that guild. Can I just come to your run?" And they kicked someone and let me in. <laughs> and nice. then I went to some dungeon, and I did some nightmare and curtain. Like I, I took it pretty slow. I mean, I got to fifty and like by the second day, but I felt like I went pretty slow because people were fifty in five hours or whatever. But Mel, how about your roots? I talked about the one where I had to go to the graveyard. Um, the only other one. Wait, what else did I have to do? Oh, the only other one I got was the one for the Wild Gods quest. Those were the only two I really needed to be able to raid. See, so. it's yeah, it's so weird for me. Like on the Rogue of the Hunter, I feel like I have to get everything. But I guess like if you're just healing or just DPSing on hybrid classes and stuff like that, it's a little different. Yeah. I mean I don't there's like if I'm just healing, there's not really any situation where I can see right now that I would need the other ones, but who knows? Maybe. The warlock ones I got felt pretty boring because they were all in the same area. Oh, like were they in Ashenvale? Like in the Yeah, one was the first one I got was uh I think Immolation Aura. Which you literally get from killing the mobs that, you know, the first quest you do for the nightmare incursions, where you have to kill the imps and then the satyrs or whatever and the fell hunters. You get mm -hmm. items from those three mobs that combine into the rune, basically. And then the other one, I guess I got, there's like this explorer imp that someone was talking about earlier that can collect a bunch of stuff from these portals throughout the world but there's those portals in ashenvale so to get the explorer imp i think you just have to rain soul on something i don't know how i got it i just rain sold something and got it 
and uh, you just send it through the portal and then it sits there for like 10 minutes and then you can summon it again. It brings back a bag full of stuff. And I think that was how the Felguard rune is. That's how I got Felguard. And then, yeah, that was that was it. They were all all three of them right in the same place. That is weird. And then I got Pandemic, um, which was in Fairless, which was also really boring because you didn't really need to do anything. You just picked up two items and then combined them. Kind of feels like some classes are getting more love than others on the the rune front. I mean, the runes are good. It's just getting them was easy. And then I think there's there's two I haven't gotten that do seem like very long and kind of maybe cool quest lines, but they're not. I don't need either of them. That you know of. Yeah, maybe they'd be good, but. There's a lot of. OK, so this was talked about. Actually, I just heard. I think. I was OK, so I'm like. I'm like halfway through Countdown to Classic. I think Ubiquitous is on right now talking to Josh about different things. I just started that part. Uh, we we have a great fucking 20-minute rant at each other about <laughs> Oh, is that the Somebody... one where I joined and someone called me a American for saying that one word? Yeah. <laughs> um, and we, we were just blowing up about how I I agree incursions were overpowered, but they are so much more fun literally because it's not dungeon grinding ZF mm-hmm. or I'm not handing in Firebeard's head for the a millionth fucking time in Tanaris. Like <laughs> I'm just glad that it was something different, but I admit that it was probably too strong. Josh got really mad about that. I had a hard time listening to it. it was, <laughs> okay, well, it was, I'm, uh, I'm not to that every, part yet. That was what everyone, <laughs> everyone just said that I was trying to delete the vanilla world. And it's just like, no. I'm just mm-hmm. saying this is more fun than doing Zolfarak for the a millionth time with the same four people. Oh yeah. And yeah um, I did have a blast a million doing times, it. It'll be, it'll, this'll be boring and maybe I'll want to go back yeah. to questing. Like I did have a blast now. doing it though. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like I was just like a kid in a candy store. When I got that <laughs> one level, just, just turning in, I was like, in. what the hell? I was just, but, well, it was so fast. I'd like to note that I got off and went to sleep for about four hours while Bob was still leveling. And I hit 50 five minutes after Bob hit 50. <laughs> <laughs> got a little sidetracked. Well, it's yeah. just we were doing, we we kept thinking we should, we should do ZF and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, it was just, it was rough. But on the rune thing, so there are a ton of runes. It just aren't really worth a shit, right? And people are kind of complaining about that, but I think it's like kind of the same thing, like with like why why van- why vanilla gear was so fun and good is because there was a lot of bad items, and bad items make you appreciate good items. Does that make sense? Like it's That's been said true, more elegantly by a lot of people. But I mean, there's worthless talents. You know, like. But I feel like some of these runes, they should be good in some scenario. And for a majority of them, they are. In like a niche scenario, you could use this or that. But some of them are just like, I'll never equip it. And I don't. It's pointless. I think yeah, that's a bit of a mistake. The best example I've got is that Rogue's Helms. We've got Combat Potency, Honor Amongst Thieves, and Focus Attacks. And Focus Attacks, straight from the get go, is just absolute garbage compared to the other two like it'll never get used regardless of whether you use daggers swords or anything simon puts it best so for people that don't know when you crit you get two energy back you can have a hundred percent crit rate on every ability and attack that you have and it's still not better than our other two options Mm -hmm. and we said that before it ever came out it's like just double it like make it four and then it can be the double it and give it to the next person like if there could be a world where if they buff it, because it's driven around crits, it could be the best rune while you have your well buff and songflower. But then once you die, its value will obviously go down and then you can change your rune. That's fucking more exciting than just, no, nope, it's benched for eternity. Until that number changes, it is literally never going to be better than our other two options. 
Oh yeah, there's like okay. demonic grace for uh, warlocks. And I'm sure maybe some warlock tanks use it, but it's a six second buff. It gives you 30% crit and 30% dodge, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I mean, there's a and ton. It's like, it but, wears off before you can cast an ability. <laughs> well, like, the hand runes are a bummer for me, like, Shiv, Bingoosh, like, yeah. And then Saber Slash, I, you know, it'd be cool to get back to a world where that could be in there and, like, in some way shape yeah or form, but yeah. mutilate you have to take shadow strike was really cool but like you're not going to use it over mutilate and then you know i don't know it, it feels a bit bad on rogue that like i i don't actually know if it's the same for every class but like literally every ability they want us to replace sinister strike with is just on the same glove slot so obviously we've got four like three of them will just be irrelevant because one will always be the best and they don't seem to be caring too much about balancing them between them between themselves to make like competition within the class like you could be a dagger or sword rogue in classic and there were even phases where daggers could have been like one percent better but this is like saber slash this build or this phase is 11 percent behind which is you know it's too not far nothing, but like if you're an, it's always goes back to if you're a 99 passing sword rogue, you'll be better than a whatever pass mutilate rogue. But at the end of the day, that sword rogue could just play mutilate and be more useful to his team by a whole 10. Yeah, so yeah, that's the dilemma. But they don't seem to be very interested in caring about uh, like balancing within a class. They're just desperate to get the classes on the same page because some have just been way better than others the whole time. Yeah, that's what I feel. I get. Yeah, I just like, it does bum me out because I love combat rogue and yeah, I I I definitely get it, but at the same time, in like Simon's disc, I kind of have a laugh at the I call I just call them saber simps because they love swords <laughs> so hard, and it's like man, <laughs> let's just be glad that rogue's just not dog shit again. Like fair <laughs> enough, you got to play mutilate, but at least we're relevant. Like last phase was the worst; you couldn't right. play swords, and we sucked with mutilate. So at least we're we're halfway forward. You know, it's not it's not the end of the world. Yeah, I kept, you can't have everything. I kept thinking we'd get something like, but oh my god, it just was not happening. Um, and it, a shame when uh, this is when we have thrash blade as well. So you would have hoped that swords would be good, but oh. Well. I know, man. I completed the quest for it last night. And I'm like, Pfft. although I don't know. I still wonder for tank if, like, if swords are kind of the way to go, especially with thrash now. But I don't know. Uh, you can make it work and it probably won't matter, but mutilate will still be super handy if you want your tank to expose armor and stuff. But True. I don't know if anyone's doing that or not. You Did think you anyone's like... going to be using those poisons? They alleged? Did nah, they even get added? I don't nah, think they did. We didn't get them. Oh. At, least, at least we haven't seen them yet. Next phase is problem. <laughs> yeah. I still think those things are going to be unused, personally. Yeah, they can't. They won't get used as they were hinted at being implemented. So, unless they add like a damage proc to them as well, so that like you could use it instead of instant poison or something. I think it would be a more of a thing where you're just taking multiple rogues and they're swapping off. Like this is their this is their their you know this is their turn to to do the poison. So it's still going to be better and more reliable than. Uh, than uh um what's it called uh just get the gladiator warrior to do it well the thing <laughs> is though is that uh you, like the poison will scale with your exposed armor talent so rogues might oh, just be the best exposer period come next phase and they'd be able to like on fights that have multiple uh multiple enemies you know say for instance uh menagerie they'd be that's able gonna suck to for like the rogue, though. hit it it already all it already sucks for the rogue because it won't proc your instant poison it's like a 10 percent dps loss to do the utility and yeah that's why you'd have them trade off you wouldn't want to make one person yeah. do it you but know? that's what i'm saying i think it would be like 
less bad for just any other class of the five that seem to have it now to do it instead of making one rogue suffer. Yeah. It, our expose does make the melee DPS do like 3% more damage than the other options, but it's, um, yeah, it's not worth the self grief to, to put it up in most scenarios, but yeah, well, Ed, you'd have to, if you switch it off, you'd have to respec it when it was your turn to do it too. Yeah. I just like how, for some reason, rogues are just in that box. I've said it a few times where they're just happy for us to be as, as inconvenienced as possible because a lot of people stand by, oh, if you put utility up, it has to come at a personal loss. All right, bro, tell that to the enhancement shaman making us do 20% more nature damage using his fucking ability. Like, it doesn't doesn't make him go backwards to use storm strike. We well, that like and the totems other. can just be pre-placed and brought yeah. into the fight now, too. But, you know, Simon's... Rogues if rogues want to be useful, we have to do no damage to be useful, apparently. Yeah, that's what that's what um, Simon Eyes has been saying forever, especially in in Wrath. It's just like this like this sucks. You know, like why can't we just have it to where we talent in to expose or something, or you know, expose just happens when we hit something type of deal, you know. I mean, it's the same for warriors, though. It's just some reason people are more prone to letting rogues do it than warriors. But if warriors have to sunder five times, it sucks for them, too. But for whatever reason, the warriors always get the red carpet treatment and the rogues don't. They it's got, probably they because they, they always do more damage. It's because they got told they didn't have to do it anymore. And then they, even though we've gone all the way back to classic, they just say, no, nah, bro, I don't, I don't sunder. We never did. We never <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking Apparently, about. Apparently, gladiator warriors supposed to crank now i don't know if that's going to be true or not but then they're just going to be pressing devastate the whole time so maybe they'll do it but it's still less armor than expose right if we, if this was before sod launched i would say that there is no way they let warriors best dps spec be the one that spams devastate but at this stage i'm not confident <laughs> to say that they will actually change that they'll just let it ride and go yep gladiator stance rise up new gameplay for warriors <laughs> even less buttons less thinking i mean to be fair warrior always had a high skill ceiling but yeah, yeah definitely it seems like gladiator stands oh you can press all your buttons and then one of them's gonna be good that's why i stopped playing my warrior i saw where it was going and i was like this isn't gonna be fun like i don't care if it does the most damage or not it just phase one it wasn't fun managing everything it was like I did cool not. at some points but it was just like i didn't mind tanking on the warrior in phase one but i did not like the keeping your rage teeter tottering it under 80 over 80 under 80, 80 over it, 80 it felt terrible yeah yeah i was not a big fan of that i got my warrior to level 27 in phase two and i was like no this still sucks because it welcome. doesn't look, I don't know, they didn't really get any good runes in phase two. Hey, Kipso, welcome to the show. We are recording live, if you didn't know. Welcome. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, no. Everybody's uh, in here is welcome to pop in. We needed someone to talk about mage. I was <laughs> saying what's up before the, uh, the you guys are trying to run Sunken Temple tonight, right? Yep, yep. yep. 27 rogues. Yep, we got about another half an hour of show. Uh, before I start just uh, diving into that hard, but yeah, I tried to switch to Hunter, but it, the thing bugged out. It wouldn't let me. Do you want to go as as um, Hunter? That I mean, that's great. Yeah, because there's like a million rogues. So. I know there's so <laughs> many rogues. <laughs> oh man! On the topic of runes, though, which we were kind of on, is I heard the mage runes are sort of underwhelming for PVE this phase. Besides, or do you still play mage at all? He's yeah, he's talking to you, Kipso. Oh, I haven't checked him out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think, I, think so. I heard they got like molten armor and then a bunch of PvE stuff or PvP rather. Yeah, molten armor seems cool, but it's just a passive. It's not like exciting or anything. Yeah, nothing crazy. Yeah, yeah. Kipso didn't really like the mage. He came on a couple of raids. It was like, eh, it's just is it just in for me in phase two. I watched this video on how to mage level in phase two, and I, I was like, oh, I've been still using improved Blizzard this whole time. 
Yeah, that works too. But it's like the old fashioned way. Yeah, I, the living bomb was, it felt safer somehow, even though they were still hitting you. They just died faster. Well, um, Kip, so what have you, th- what did you think about the nightmare in, in, incursions and how many 50s do you have now? Um, working on number three. Um, they put me out of a job, man. There's no use for leveling videos if everybody's just nightmare incursion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's uh, you can make a video every day about which uh pickup's broken. <laughs> yeah, that I didn't even think about that. I mean, yeah, there's no like tricks or anything, like it's just like just run around and do all the pickup quests. Yeah, you never need to kill anything, so it's, it's the same thing every single class. That's what I was saying earlier. I got to 50 and didn't have my weapon skills worked up on any weapon. Yeah, that happened to me too. And your pet's like level 40. <laughs> <laughs> yep, my pet didn't get anything. Uh, but The hidden drawbacks. Have you went and got the core hound yet? No, I just got... Um, max rank claw and then i was going to get a level 50 tiger and the rune the raptor strike rune because that one seems insane yeah i don't remember do wolves not get that buff that everyone picked wolves in classic for until later on the like uh howl that gives the attack power or something i don't know oh is it like Uh, a group wide buff or something it's like worse um because they don't have firewolves bad they like don't have bite or something or they're missing 10 percent damage i don't remember which one oh i guess pets are better now too because in classic at 60 it was just like the pets basically just there to buff you so now i guess they're actually doing damage so that could be something to do with it too and bite is really good abilities with longer cooldown scale harder with attacks uh, attack damage yeah because I know before it was like pets at 60 were basically useless besides if they had any like thunderclap or the piercing howl or whatever it was. The well, they also didn't have avoidance, so they were just going and die. Yeah, exactly. They have avoidance now. Yeah, it's oh. passively added to Wowhead, uh, Warlocks, Hunters, and Shamans have pet avoidance now. Don't lie, they would I've kind of felt die. it, but I never really actually looked and saw that it was there. Like, they I would... noticed my pets were never dying for some reason, but... Listen, they would go in and pull, like, seven things, and then they'd die, you know? <laughs> well, that's because the hunter pet could tank for a whole phase. I'm kidding. I'm just <laughs> being mean to hunters. I kind of miss the hunter pet tanking. I thought that was kind of cool, but I guess I can see why it was overpowered, too. Yeah, I don't know. The, it, it was a little weird when your just your tank is like a pet. Your your tank is a a cat named Lily, and it uh, doesn't take any damage and does more threat than every other class in the game. And positioning would have been horrible. <laughs> yeah, that was the only time all the uh, tank classes were unified on one front because they'd all been replaced by a fucking scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> Of them. <laughs> yes, that's enough of that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to think of the just other things. There's so much to, to like go over, but I'm blanking right now. I, does anybody want to talk about something specific that they've that 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 they've thought about that's been on their mind doing all of this? Leveling a new alt is uh, completely dead. I can tell you. At Why? level 19, there is not a single person I've seen in 19 levels. I feel like this is like the time, though, where it's going to be completely dead. I feel like. No, I, I agree totally, but it's like. Yeah, in a couple of weeks, I think the yeah. lower It's kind of like phase two. Oh, I guess I started phase two late, so I was like, I heard all the people complaining early on, like, oh, there's no one leveling alt or anything. I can't do any of my runes. And I was leveling my well, here, let's warlock in phase two. And I was like, oh, this is fine. You know, I, I found groups for stuff. Let's hear what Mel was going to say, though. No, that was it. I was just saying, I think in a couple of weeks, it'll people will start leveling their alts again and stuff like that. So I think we'll be fine with the old world, but they're just on the Priebus grind right now. 
Yeah, I mean, everybody's trying to get their main up and everything. My own curiosity is killing me. I don't know a single soul that's gone into the level 25 incursions. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's just as nuts. One of my friends did. did, and he didn't have much to say about it besides the fact that he thought it was really boring, but he's also quite casual. But, I mean, I agree they are kind of boring after yeah, an hour. Accurate. <laughs> yeah, accurate. Yeah. The, the SVAD went in there. They're pretty, they're, they're pretty hard when it's not busy. Like, yeah. I was in one when it was really empty, and it was like, it's God. Because all the mobs know. aggro on you, yeah, right? You yeah. pull eight mobs, and you do have to go back to killing stuff, which is nice. Like, I like it like that, but... I think people are getting a much warped perspective because there's 700 of you in just a human train. Yeah, because when I was in Fairless, I had like a group of five and there was like maybe two other groups and it was kind of... We we did all the kill quests because you kind of had to because everything would aggro to you. And it was yeah. more definitely more fun than the uh, Ashen Bale one. Yeah, I haven't no, done like the... Uh, where's we the like, other one though? We like to kill fun as... Yeah. Classic WoW people, we like to kill the fun. There's none of that left. There's um, Feralus and Hinterlands. That's Hinterlands, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. I haven't done the Hinterlands one. I feel like that one would be kind of weird because of where the boss spawns. I don't know how that... There's nothing around it. <laughs> I don't know anything about that one. Yeah. Well, in Classic, we did all the world bosses as a guild because... By the end of Classic, our server was nearly dead, and we were pretty much the biggest guild on the server, so we went and did all of them. And I specifically remember the Hinterlands world bosses just being one big empty circle. And uh, Hinterlands in general is kind of weird. I don't know. I don't really like that's, that. So. That's going to be the level 60 version. Do we know on the new rep, how far could you get on the new rep? You can get to exalted. You can get to exalted. Interesting. There's uh, trinkets and rings and a bunch of shit. Huh. I got and like I was saying earlier, you can use those green things you get from the level 50 uh, incursions to buy stuff as far as I know. I haven't actually gotten exalted though. Um, and Anything else anybody wants to talk about? All I can say is I've been having more fun than Phase 2. Even though, I don't know, Phase 2 seemed like cool at the beginning, but I didn't play because I was just kind of stepping back from the game. But it seems like they added a lot for this phase and thought about it a bit more after what happened in Phase 2. Everyone seemed to kind of step back for a bit there. Yeah, I hope this one's longer because there is a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah, a lot. I agree. Yeah, I'm. I'm always. I always remind myself at the start of the phase that generally myself can be included. Fuck, some of the players come up with shit POVs from the first 24 hours, and like within a week they'll go, "Wow, well, I'm so glad it didn't take me like 14 days to hit 50 because there's so much stuff to do at 50." <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you know, just, like the fucking Reddit merry-go-round will keep spinning on as it always does it'll find something else yep. how dare you make it five hours to get to 50 oh, yeah, my classic experience is ruined yeah i don't know if they just heard too many people say like mate unless you're gonna change the world i'm i'm bored of just questing in the same zones like they're not bad zones but at the facade it would be fun for it to be different and obviously it's less work or maybe not as maybe it's not less work but the incursions were something different. So, like, that's kind of why I just go back to that. Like, I'm happy. I did something different. They were very yeah. different. ZF, I didn't quest in fucking Angoro. I'm I did, like, two ZF runs, and I was like, You're, thank hey, God hey, I didn't Zander, do this Zander, all the Zander, way. Zander, 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 Zander. You got to let Ubi get done talking. <laughs> no, no, I was, I was pretty much done. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually – I saw some people complaining about how, like, I got to 50, and now I have to go do dungeons. And it's like – Beautiful. You didn't do any level. Imagine how, imagine how pissed, I would have been pissed off if we didn't have incursions. I did 400 ZF runs <laughs> and then go, fuck, I'm going to do another 50 because I need it for items. Like, I would have been. I would have been I pissed been too, man. Oh, yeah. So like, this was cool. I didn't do any and I'm still going to go grind dungeons now. So, like, that content's not gone. The dungeons aren't gone. I just didn't do any open world questing so much. Yeah. 
I do feel like, too, it kind of helped them save a little bit of the, um, like, it saved the people who didn't want them to change the world, like the purists that didn't want the world changed, but helped the other people that wanted something a little bit different that have been in that world for a really long time. So I felt like it was the best of both worlds, to be honest. Yeah. I, and I, I remember... I, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, you go, you go. I was just going to say, I, I remember people in Phase 2 saying, like, all the dungeons felt dead. I know Josh said that a lot. Like, no one was doing dungeons. And it's, like, kind of given a reason for people to do them now. Like, you know, they leveled to, they leveled to 50 in five hours, and now, you know, oh, I got the, can go do BRDs, EF, all this shit. And it's like... We started grinding them yesterday, and, like, a props to them. Like, everyone... Reddit thinks that the devs have six brain cells and they've never developed a game in their life. I'm going to give them a compliment. <laughs> How they implemented getting the wild offerings, they knew. They said, oh, we'll just make it drop off like the last boss. Us bunch of weasels would have skipped the whole dungeon, raced to the last <laughs> boss for four minutes and got like five and 20 minutes and been done. They said, no, you have to kill two or three bosses. And then the way it's implemented, you toot your horn at the the ghost turn it into a boss and you fight it and it's actually like the hardest boss in the fucking in uh -huh. cf but like props good idea i like that because I, when i heard of oh, just going to dungeons i'm like mad stealth group in and out 10 minutes four runs cool but no they made it they made it a bit more grindy so that's a thumbs up for me maybe they learned from uh wrath where they the first was it titan rune or whatever People would just skip to the last spot. They'd skip every boss possible and go to the last one. So they kind of figured oh, yeah. out we gotta we gotta do something else here. Yeah. How do you guys feel about the like I haven't done Sunken Temple yet, but from everything we've seen, it seems like it's a lot more difficult. Do you think that the player base is gonna respond well to that? Uh, I think it's kind of it seems like anyone that's walked in there got six of eight which is very similar to the last two raids. Like it did the last take two them bosses. quite a while, though. Or at least the world uh, first. Yeah, like the world first, guys. They did I mean, nerf it since, though, right? Yeah. Anyone, no, but they only nerfed the ones that, that they were stuck on. The first six were easy. Everyone that's gone in there says, like, if you can look at something that you should probably go, I think I shouldn't stand in that, you can probably <laughs> do these bosses. Happy days. And then the last two, just like Kelris and uh, Akamai and... Um, Menagerie and Thermoplug. It's just a ramp up, but I would it would be cool to know from the devs if they intentionally just gave that boss an insane amount of HP to keep the the world the, first, the, the, the super sweats engaged <laughs> for an extra day. And it's like it's kind of cool if you think about it. It's is it really that bad that they overshoot a HP pool, mm -hmm. like, and then nerf it? Like that's easier than ah, uh, it's. Wow, you guys finished it in 30 minutes. Then everyone would just bitch about how shit it is. Like, oh, well, none yeah. of the above finished it in 22 minutes. Like, this is, that's where I just feel the most pity for him. There's literally no winning. The no. community seemed to cry no matter what. If it's mm -hmm. too hard, too easy. So this was yeah. a good outcome, I think. Yeah. It's yeah, like I'm excited. Was, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just saying I'm excited for it. Yeah, I I'm like going in tonight, so I'm keen as. I like that. I, re I think you're onto something. I think they just gave it a ton of, like, they were like, there's no way that they're going to be able to beat this just to kind of laugh at them a little bit for, a, you know, just, yeah. And like you, like, like, like ubiquitous was saying, like, just to keep them kind of occupied, you know, and like keep them from getting even further ahead of everybody else. Cause I mean, but it kind of would have been cool for them to just fail and be like, oh, okay, well, I guess we do need to go farm pre -bis. We do need to go do some stuff, yeah, you know? I, th I think they could have waited just a bit longer because I was watching a few of them. And when I was watching where they were wiping at, if that was my guild, and obviously, like, I'm not in the same bracket as, like, the onslaughts and shit, it would have just been, ah, uh, like, we've tried this one boss for three hours. Let's just fucking pack it up. Everyone go get four more items. We'll try again tomorrow. Yep. Mm -hmm. but but I'm not sure if they had to bring the nerf in because they're like, these freaks aren't going to bed and they're not leaving. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're like, Every hundred times. Like they're <laughs> not, it's not clicking. And maybe it was literally like a health warning. They're like, right. we're going to get, we're going to get, they have to save stream. them from themselves. Yeah. 
Yeah, Nerf the, it before there's yeah. just a dead body on stream. Of a <laughs> yep. Oh, it's so true. It, yeah, it, it could be. They're just like, we must save them from themselves. Yeah. That's well, and you have to think of it. what that would have done to the community, right? Like, if they couldn't get it down, I feel like everyone else would have felt Start super bitching. defeated. Well, they would have felt super defeated even. Like, nobody thinks, like, oh, my gosh, they probably didn't oh, have Oh, it's like, rooms. oh, we'll never do it now. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have any runes. They didn't have any gear. Like, no one would think that. Everybody would just think, oh, my God, the best people can't do it. So we're definitely not going to be able to do it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was watching, I think it was Alando's stream the day it came out. And I was just like, oh, this looks kind of challenging. Maybe it'll be, you know, fun. Maybe I was just so happy that it didn't get cleared in the first 10 minutes. Know, 10 hours, yeah. 10 minutes, yeah. Because <laughs> I know with like all the classic stuff to this point, like Lich King, Nax, yeah, well, it was all first day, first lock, first try. At yeah, least they like all, logged out for 10 minutes and those were all bosses that we, they had already done. Exactly. Right? Like, that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Like they, they brought in something new. Yes, maybe it was overtuned, but it was uh it was a learning experience and it was cooler to watch than just people shit rolling everything. I agree. It was also kind of boring to watch the same uh, fight over and over again. Them just getting pushed in, pushed in different directions by those two dragons. Everyone's at home at the, at the 15 minute mark. Cause they have 5 million health. <laughs> I think uh, someone was spitting some numbers out yesterday on countdown saying that like, that's more, HP than half of the next bosses or something like, or even it could have been TBC, but like something stupid. Like we're killing shit like half an expansion ahead <laughs> when we're um, at level fifty, just because mm -hmm. the DPS is so high. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying the other day. Like they could probably release Molten Core unchanged at this point for twenty man raid at level sixty, and we'd be able to do it. Wasn't it Crowd Pummeler had more armor than Ragnaros? I believe that. I didn't look in, into any of the uh, Gnomer stats, but I all I heard was complaints. <laughs> I like Gnomer. It was fun. I thought it was fun. I thought BFD was all right. Like, I don't know. They're... I don't have too much to say about those. Bob go AFK. Looks like it. All right. Yeah. Well, anybody else have any fun stories to tell about their leveling grind? It's one of my old guildies. Once I started leveling on their server, traded me eighty-five gold, and I'm surprised I'm not banned yet. Yeah, I tell people every time they give me gold, I'm gonna give them a piece of gear. <laughs> 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 and and then type in chat. Thank you for buying this in our GDKP. Oh, God. <laughs> Is, um, does anyone play a Warlock in here? I, I have been. Uh, is Immolation Aura, like, toggle on, toggle off? Yeah. All right, cool. I want Blizzard to make it the guards attack metas that walk around with it in Ratchet and shit because it's annoying to listen to. You're waiting for, <laughs> you're waiting for the boat and there's just a thousand... <sighs> <laughs> it also it doesn't do anything to you either it's just aoe yeah. damage it doesn't do a lot of damage but yeah i've had i've actually had game sound muted completely for the past like couple of days because i got the gnomer mount and it's probably the most annoying sounding mount i've ever heard in my life google it 10 times worse uh, than uh hmm? oh i was just gonna yeah it's horrible but if you google turn off sound on uh mechano strider there's a little how-to uh, video. There's like add-ons oh. that do it too, but you could just like basically get rid of the file or something and it just doesn't ever play. That would be great because it sounds like Mim's head plus... I The first time I wrote it, I thought I was in... I wasn't in Discord. I thought I was in Discord with someone constantly typing as loud as I could. <laughs> it's horrible. I, I totally really agree. annoyed. Bob gets really annoyed at my um, void zone rune. 
Oh yeah, I, I saw that yesterday because he thinks he's supposed to move out of it. Mm-hmm. Which only makes me want to do it even more, to be <laughs> fair. Uh, Void Zone was really toxic in uh, Ashen the Bale. incursions. They just slam it on top of the quest person and you mm-hmm. just die. It seems to do a buttload of damage. It does a lot. I thought it wouldn't do much. And it can proc blackout as far as I can tell. Yeah, it does quite a bit. It's fun. It looks cool. It looks like uh well, and that's the one it gives get. me PTSD to doing Muru. Yeah, that's the one you get from doing incursions, which is why it was oh, so That's why there were so many the, there. That's why there were so many at the incursions, yeah. Hey, uh ubiquitous, you you leveled up with, with Josh, right? And like uh, hunk yeah, of them. Main. Uh yeah, like Josh. Voodoo, uh, hideous. Unk had to work. I heard that had to be fun. Yeah, lots of joking around. Yeah, it was. Um, we just take the absolute piss out of each other the whole day to the (laughs) point where, like, you know, there's banter, and then there's like sixteen hours of banter where you start to go like, do we still like each other? And you have to sign (laughs) off the end of the day going, yeah, we're all still fucking good friends. (laughs) You log off. Josh was right. It was the most entertaining leveling stream for uh, Phase 3. Yeah, we were just... And we have that, like, I go into it knowing that it's going to be fun, but I'm the biggest, like, min-maxer of the group where... We, but, like, we have our own banter developing where I was essentially coined myself as the team manager because I had to keep them on track slightly. Otherwise, they very Stop well... Stop going to the dentist, Josh. <laughs> yeah, they, they could lose themselves in PvP for three hours, easily. So you let them have, like, the little skirmishes and then go, hey, hey, get the box, get in your mount, let's get keep going. <laughs> like, Focus. <laughs> otherwise, they'll just stay there and kill people. But, no, it's, it's all fun. Like, they give me piss about, like, all oh, right, fucking old mates yelling at us, let's go. <laughs> if I can march on to keep doing more incursions. Uh- you just described both sides of Bobby's personality all in one there. <laughs> <laughs> he does both. He does. I feel like I'm usually the one, like, I'll try to tell people, like, come on, let's go. And then I give up because they're just running around like crazy people. And then I keep going. And then they're like, Mel, why are you so far ahead of everybody? <laughs> like, it's very true. Yeah. This is very they, true. They, they were they were like talk, like in Discord going, let's get this priest, get this priest, get this druid. And I just <laughs> I just like I just stand there on my mount, I just stop moving, I take this chance, take my hands off my keyboard or mouse, like stretch a bit, watch them win their little fight, and then they turn around and they start calling me a dog because it didn't help kill people and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, Are you I'm guys like, done? Yeah. I'm like, I w- if you looked like you were losing, I'd help, but <laughs> you, you had it in the bag. That's yeah. right. They're like, respect the 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 one v one, bro. I told. Yeah, I was telling. I was telling Until I'm Jason. About to die, then you better not respect it. <laughs> Jason came. That's what I was telling Jason. He came. Uh, Bucky came, and he helped me. The last hit on this freaking this this freaking hunter, and like, I had it in the bag, and I was like. Respect the one v one, and then one time I was about to die, and I was like, "No, don't respect the one v one. This is the time you don't respect the one v one." So confused, man. Oh man, like, I was like, I was like well, then "If I'm winning, yeah, if I'm about to die, forget the one v one." Oh man, Josh, Josh, Josh is hilarious. If there's someone on his kill on site list that you. I can see literally their whole five man party, like how they move. You can tell they're a party. Josh will still go cheap shot in the pally. And then their whole party just globals him, get back on their horses and go back to questing. And he's like, ah, oh, got to give it a try. <laughs> it's like, all right. And then like one of our, one of our guys was trying to help him. They murdered Josh. And the other guy just kind of went, Oh, my mistake. And he just walked off and started helping me kill mobs. instead. <laughs> like, Never mind. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. No, it was it was We're a fun launch him. day. We're not That's where I'm so biased. Maybe other people don't get to have like as much of a good day with like four other people being degenerates and like we've already gassed up. The Aussie launch day is a different animal because we get to take <laughs> Friday off work and we're starting at seven in the morning. And you're mm-hmm. like, oh well, like this is nice and cruisy. Maybe for the other parts of the world, because you're getting it at like nine o'clock at night, it's fucking like 
don't waste a minute because I've got three hours until midnight. I've got to go to bed. <laughs> and then they yeah. have to work again. Whereas we're just, we've already taken work off. We can play for 18 hours and still go to bed at like midnight. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like you're not ruining your life by, by binging the first day. So I guess we get to be a bit more chill like that. Like we knew we we're going to hit 50 comfortably before going yeah. to bed. So that's fair. That's that's where I got to say the rest of the world. Your min max skills are too <laughs> casual. If you really want to go for world first, move to a. You gotta move. Don't be, yeah. don't be fucking casual, bro. <laughs> Come over here. You'll get it easy. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I'm very very jealous of you being able to just wake up, have coffee, just play for a ton of hours. Hey, you can do yeah, that like too. You, you just get to take like take lunch break. We all played for five hours, hit twelve, piss off for forty-five minutes. Not me. I'm I'm the tryhard. I stayed on and just did extra quests. But <laughs> yeah, like uh, it's a it's a really fun day for the Aussie server. That's awesome. My girlfriend's always talking about moving to Australia, and I think you've convinced me. Uh, I keep saying that, no, but that that point. that rant, yeah, that was the selling point. <laughs> uh, well, that's the top of the list for tourism to advertise <laughs> yeah you know She's what uh, advertise. i don't know why she wants it. <laughs> it's just it's dude Aus- dude, dude australia is so crazy because it's like there's so much land there that's uninhabited right i'm just scared of being killed in my sleep by a big spider or something yeah we're like 80 percent <laughs> desert or something like that like in the middle there's just nothing there's towns but no one fucking lives there <laughs> crazy well, anything else? Anybody got any other fun stories? Any uh, thoughts on stuff? We just had Kef show up. Kef, you got any? Do you, you got anything to say about whatever? Well, that's a little too general. I mean, <laughs> anything you like? Anything you've thought about that? Your thoughts on politics? <laughs> no, no, let's not go there. <laughs> I mean, I am impressed by the zero lag. When there's a million people in the Emerald, uh, Emerald Nightmare, that is weird, right? Yeah, but like STV, yeah. I, there, I feel like there's less people, but it's still like a second between my abilities doing what I tell them to. Huh, that That's is true. Weird. I didn't even think. I didn't that. think about that either. See, man, we'd be bitching our asses off, like you know, if it if it was like super like like laggy, but then. It's I can't not, believe and Blizzard we don't made even this say anything. Level. Yeah, we don't even say anything. Yeah, don't give them props. That's funny. It's been so smooth, you know, like with yeah. hundreds of players just chilling on the ramp, waiting for the escort to come by. Just <laughs> instant like reaction to spells and stuff. Are you? Are you? Sorry, I was just answering a message. Do you? Are you talking about how well it all ran, like technically? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I said that on launch day. I said if people weren't so focused on spending their energy on being whiny pricks, that was like <laughs> the that was the most amazing large scale thing that they've probably done in the game fucking ever. Yeah, like, yeah there was like no eight hundred a thousand people in there. Everything worked with all like literally no lag. And even like I mean, it's because there wasn't any big big skirmishes. But even the PvP and stuff, it ran a thousand times better than any STV did for the whole last phase. So. Props to them like, for that. Some of the quest items weren't lootable on and off, depending on phase. But I think that was like the only issue I really noticed. Yeah, yeah they they said that'll get fixed in their hot fixes this week, so they must know what's up with it. That was probably the help, most tilting thing, because like sometimes you go through and get like six quests done, and sometimes you couldn't pick up half of them, and you're like, oh, I just got half of fucking bar of XP. Oh well. Yeah. I think at some stage we had both the the scroll and the box broken, and you could yeah, do that's either. happened to us recently. Mm-hmm. And it was like people were still just adamant about, okay, we'll just do the same lap without those two. And then other people were like, I guess kill quests are back on the menu because at that <laughs> point it's not worth doing a lap to only hand in three or four at the end. Yeah, so it does feel pretty bad to only hand in three. Yeah, I think um. The the problem was actually mob tagging. That uh-huh. like the kill the kill XP in there is insane. Did anyone go kill elite solo with rested XP? You get like fucking three and a half K XP or some shit. It's wild. 
It's just the, I didn't actually look at how much XP I got, but oh. I did kill a few elites by myself, and I guess it must have been good. You can kill the um like the whelps are the weakest thing in that entire zone. I kill them in about three mutilates, twelve hundred XP. So when no one else is there and you just got whelp after whelp after whelp, like killing three or four a minute, it's pretty damn good. It's just that when it was so congested, getting any tags was garbage. But it's way better XP than what you would get from like a a mob in, in ZF or anything like that. Right. So, but I don't think many people noticed because, yeah, the kills were too far between and then they just all stopped doing it. Yep. Yeah. We still tagged the bosses and turned in those quests. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Someone but you just told me that tag. if the Alliance did it, that you could still get the tag, but that was a lie. Yeah, no, it didn't work. Faction tags was a pretty cool idea. Yeah, yeah. that was that good. Was I think idea. it would have made it terrible if that wasn't a thing. Like people would have gotten really mad about it. Yeah, I could see a world where um, they're probably going to nerf the shit. Uh, they said they're going to change it, but I haven't read the blue post if it had specifics. But I can definitely see them nuking the crap out of the collection ones. But mm. I don't know if that's, you. Got, I, I think I'm, that's I'm, what they're doing. Something like the kill quests will be more efficient. Yeah. Or not I need, efficient, someone, more I need someone with a encyclopedic memory of WoW, but there has been many of these zones that are like either a daily hub or whatever, and you'd go in there. At some stage, they did learn this lesson. If you were just <laughs> best to go pick up a scroll on the floor and go hand it in, it would give you like one-fifth the XP of any quest that made you kill 15 mobs mm -hmm. on hand. They yep. learned this in the past. It did happen. I remember it being a thing. Did and you ever do... Did you ever do BFA? Uh, only more, like slightly. I did play uh, it a bit. There was this, this. it was maybe halfway through or something, there was Najatar, and it was basically just a daily hub. And they kind of did that there. Where like some were just do one thing easy and no XP. Or it wasn't, I think it might have been a max level thing, but it was for this like currency, I think, at the time. And it was like you're saying like, you gotta go kill fifty things. You're gonna get a bigger reward. Like you gotta go pick one thing up. It's nothing. <laughs> yeah, it seemed a little lazy. Grind XP. A grind XP on top plus a bigger hand in. People will start killing stuff. Yeah. And I think, I, I but think in the level stuff, fifty ones, people do you do do the kill stuff because no one's there for whatever reason. Yeah, you literally or have to clear your way through it. it. Yeah, uh, it, I actually liked that it wasn't an instance, but at the same time. I'm not an all or nothing one opinion. If they were to have made it instanced, it could have been cool. But if they were, I actually would have liked it to have been a 10 man raid instance. Mm -hmm. You go in as a 10 man, scale everything up a bit more and do it that way. But I I liked seeing a thousand players in one little hotspot doing shit. And, you know, your, your kill on sight list goes off and you get derailed for five minutes trying to find them amongst the crowd. I agree, so, but it also felt a bit weird. Uh, um, just seeing people like Alliance and Horde just run past each other half the time, and, like no PvP yeah. happen. It it did feel a bit strange, but nah, that occasionally, happens all the like, time. Like in the new, like whenever a new phase or something comes out, I feel like that happens all the time. People are just like, "We've all got a job to do. Don't start a war because I don't want to waste time." Yeah. yeah. Well, from what I saw, it was outside the portal where the hand in was. That was. A bloodbath and then inside it was no one would touch each other except at the beginning when people were afk sharing quests and you know a mage would living bomb a whole party and wipe them but besides that i would have um with their tweaks i would have liked to see the the boss hand in quest to get buffed out the ass so much so that when yeah the alliance get the tag fuck you oh like, yeah you gotta oh, yeah. Them, yeah. Fight them, kill them steal the boss tag like at the moment you just see that it's grayed out and you go yeah maybe next time and just yep. run off if that's in like, my case you get lied to and you try and kill it and then you don't get a, <laughs> yeah. you don't get any credit for it. yeah i think it would be fun to see them like you know, you're standing there, someone gets the tag. That would, like, that whole Satar camp would just turn into a shit show mm -hmm. as soon as the boss spawns. Every time, it would just be like a camp wipe of one faction to try and get the boss tag if that quest gave, like, fucking 20k XP for handy. Yep. Yeah. Did anybody you know get the bug Sorry, that... No, did anybody get the bug, though, where you'd, like, run out of the zone 
it, and then it, instantly it go back into it. It wouldn't run you out. It would like yeah. run you back in, and then you'd like run but down, and then you'd notice you're still. That in happened the to me like phone. five times in a row, and I was so yeah, confused. I'm crazy. like, "Where's the hand?" It. Yeah, what's, your, what's, what's your record? I hit five. I yeah, I think I hit five. five too. Yep, and we was, all were doing it. I was maybe I just hadn't had lunch yet, but there were a few times where I got duped and I made it all the way to where yep. I brought the hand in with me before I went. Yeah, oh, there's a lot of people just right, right and pass, and I'm like, yeah. oh, fucking, I'm still inside. And then eventually, like, you know, you yeah. learn that you look for the buff. Like, eventually, yeah. I I didn't even think about the buff, but eventually I looked because inside the like air is all green and outside it's blue. That's a, eventually yeah. I was like, okay, I'm still. I'm still outside the instance. I feel like it's not apparent enough, right? Like, yeah, it's pretty subtle. Yeah. Like, I had to look for the buff. I'd just, like, zone out, look at the buff, and be like, God damn it. It was, it was hilarious. Either. Yeah, and it's I confusing, because you're standing right on top of, of, you think you're standing right on top of your your party people, but they're on the other side. Here's a conspiracy theory. There was actually a rogue standing at the portal distracting you as soon as you go through it. And I go right said back that. Through the other side. I said that. I was like, dude, it feels like it's a rogue distracting. <laughs> I could hear the teleport noise going off twice really quick, faster than what any human could distract. <laughs> but, uh, like it was only, it only happened to me in the party, like probably the first 15 times it happened at all. And I'm in, discord going like this is happening and like, no no nah, mate you're just doing something wrong like this is <laughs> just a shit player and i'm no, i'm telling you it's sending me back out and then eventually it happened to one other person i'm like thank god i'm not losing it. <laughs> that's what happened it kept happening to bobby and i was like okay bob yeah i got kicked from like... a group for it because they're like what's taking you so long i'm like dude i don't know where the fuck i am and then they just moved. oh my god <laughs> yeah it didn't happen to me until probably like i don't know like three hours in or something and then it finally happened to me and i was like oh i thought bob was just crazy <laughs> it actually is a thing yeah i'm i'm a sucker for like the the behind the developer curtain so to speak in the how did they come up with the idea for it and how did they physically implement it because if you stood outside you could get kill credit and xp if you were like you're saying you're at like the overlap point but i'm on the outside world they're on the inside world and I don't know if any of you ran to the very fringes, but you got a very retail esque uh, UI effect. Like uh -huh. the whole, oh yeah, the whole oh, yeah, you wanted yeah. to turn like fell green. I was like, that's fucking cool. But it was such a like a clash. It felt so like not vanilla. Not that I had yeah. a problem with it, but it just caught me off. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah. And vanilla would just be an invisible wall that you keep running into, and you can't yeah. go. Out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or you'd get like fatigue. Yeah, you just you just drop water. dead all of a sudden. You just start dying slowly. Yep. All right. Well, I think that's all. I think that's all the time we have for to today. Um, it's just a weird episode, guys. But uh, a regular one wasn't going to happen. Everybody's playing, and uh, yeah, we're we'll we'll uh, we'll be back with a normal episode next week. But does anybody want to? Uh, like I'm not going to do the whole follow us spiel because I don't have it up and I don't remember it. But uh, <laughs> WarcraftReloaded.com, you can find most of our stuff. Does anybody want to do a shout out before we leave? Shout out to your guild. Shout out to any of your content. Whatever. Bucky. Shout out to Bob for the podcast. Keeps me entertained through the week. Oh, thank you, Bucky. Shout out to my boy Lubes. I am Lubes. All right, Bucky got a shout out. Kev. I got nothing. You got nothing. Uh, Kipso. Uh, shout out to all the troops. <laughs> there you go. Ubiquitous. Uh, shout out to the Countdown Boys. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, you guys sound like you did. And Mel. Uh, I got nothing. Shout out to everybody here for coming on. Thank you. Yep. And I'm just You're gonna, welcome. yeah, I'm just gonna shout out <laughs> the the uh, devs. Thank you guys. Like I'm having, a, I'm still having a great time, and yeah, hope to you know had a couple gripes, but all in all, I'm really happy with everything you guys are doing. And 
Yeah, keep it up. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much for checking out Warcraft Reloaded Podcast. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any future content. <laughs>